Hi and welcome, I'm Nadine Peart from Healthy You, Healthy Love. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for sexy, united love. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing something really important with you. So please stay to the end because I'm going to reveal something that's gonna help you with this topic at the end. So what is this topic all about? Why is it so important? Well, recently I was listening to a podcast of a fellow dating coach, he's a male, and he was really sort of saying some negative-ish sort of thoughts or perspectives on the fact that there's a lot of female coaches like myself teaching women to lean back. Now, I believe that I do see his point. He was talking about the fact that we should both, men and women, be encouraging each other and working towards a partnership. I totally agree with that. And yet, leaning back doesn't mean that you're discouraging a man. And this is why this topic is so important because if you are listening to other coaches out there telling you to lean back, you may not actually understand what it really means because leaning back for one person can mean something very different to another because everyone's dating situation can be very different. Some people lean forward way too much and some people lean back far too much and they need to lean forwards. So where do you sit and what does this mean for you? Absolutely, I'm one of the coaches out there that believe in partnership that believe that two people need to encourage each other to create harmony, connection, and to grow something very special. Just because a man has had to so-called fight for you, it doesn't necessarily mean that a true relationship will develop. So leaning back and making a man chase you or trying to get him to chase you doesn't equate to anyone being more committed to you than if you were just more or less on the same page as far as how much energy you give each other or how much attention. When I'm coaching my clients or women in my group, when I talk about leaning back, it's not that I'm telling women to lean back and disengage from a man in a way that feels like a game. The reason why I would ever tell a woman to lean back is because she's actually really too far forwards. She's overdoing the connection. She's the one driving most of the relationship and therefore not giving the man space to come to her, to meet her at that neutral point. So the idea is to sit in a neutral zone, yeah? So you're not overdoing it, you're not underdoing it, you're matching each other, you're working together. I talk about this in great detail in my program, Unlock His Heart, where it's so important that we match someone because the best relationships I've ever had have started off with a sense of great ease. I didn't feel like I had to strategize messages, I didn't feel like I had to play a game, I didn't feel like I had to act like I was disinterested, and nor did I feel like I needed to to chase him. We were very much on an equal kind of level of connection. Once I contacted him, he would contact me. Sometimes I would contact him first, he would respond quickly. Sometimes he'd contact me a few times first and then I would respond. And so basically, there's a really beautiful dance. You know, it's not erratic, there's no push and pull. It is that you're just working together and it's flowing like a maybe a waltz or something like that. So in my programs, I often talk about the dance. So what I want for you is to understand where you're currently sitting. So if you've got a guy in your life right now, you might be in a long-term relationship or something new, and you're either sitting in neutral, where you're kind of in a relaxed state, you're somewhat surrendering to the outcome. You're not pushing, you're not disengaging, you're just sitting in this place of wonder and intrigue and you're not worried about whether you're overdoing it or underdoing it. When you're sitting too far forwards, you generally know that you're doing that. You normally feel a sense of anxiety and neediness. There's an energy about you that's very wanting, wanting something to happen quicker than it already is. And there's an urgency in your energy, in your heart, in your soul. And someone who's feeling that urgency, that anxiety, those people need to lean back into the neutral position. Not lean back necessarily to the point that you totally disengage and that you wanna see what he does because you're so, 
disconnected and you're not making any effort and you're pretending that you don't like him. That is not what I'm recommending. You just lean back into neutral. As I mentioned earlier, for those of you that tend to lean so far back, hoping that the guy makes such an effort, it doesn't guarantee any kind of result, any kind of relationship. It doesn't mean that he's going to like you more, commit to you on a deeper level, and you're going to live happily ever after together because he works so hard to get you. That is only a very small percentage of situations where that has worked, and that normally has worked when it's authentic. Maybe the woman wasn't really in the best a mental, emotional space in their life at that time, or they were traveling a lot for work, and they really just couldn't see the guy all that often, or maybe they had some personal things going on that really stopped them from spending a lot of time or being as available as the guy would like her to, and then when her situation changed, the relationship started to really grow and develop. But that normally happens from an organic place because the energy around that is different. It doesn't feel like a game. It doesn't feel as confusing because men need encouragement to move forwards. Men need encouragement to open up their hearts to you. Men want to feel safe to do that. And so when you're playing the leaning back game to the extreme, then you end up attracting the wrong kind of relationship sometimes, or just actually making the guy feel like you're not interested. And then he loses interest because you don't seem to be interested and an, an opportunity is missed. So the best guys don't need you to play that game of leaning so far back that you're almost falling off the back of your chair. Sit in a place of confidence, be assured that if you encourage him a little, he won't get turned off. If a guy gets turned off by you encouraging him, then there's a problem. You don't want to be with a guy who gets turned off by a woman who shows that she's interested. Now, I'm not saying that you're showing that you're interested in the falling off the chair in the front because you're so far leaning forwards because that is different. I said that's a needy, desperate energy. But when you're just sitting here and you're dancing with him in a beautiful way, then that is perfect. And a few ways to recognize whether you might be leaning too far forwards and that you might need to lean back into neutral or sit back into neutral is have a look at your text messages. If you're in the blue, which means you're the one sending most of the messages or your messages are super long, in on an iPhone, your messages will be in blue. And so when you're more in the blue, then you're probably overdoing it. You're probably leaning a little bit too far forwards. If you tend to be the one that initiates most uh, communication or initiates or suggests when to catch up next and you're the one doing most of that, then you're leaning too far forwards. You need to lean back and sit back into neutral. So if you're starting to feel that scrambly energy, take a moment to reposition yourself, to start believing in your worth and value, reset your mindset into believing that the best man for you, a really good man, a man who's ready for a relationship, a man who's truly authentically interested in you, will make an effort as you will and it will feel like it's flowing. You won't have to feel like there's any kind of game because if you do want partnership, if you are looking to have a really beautiful, united relationship with a man, then the early stages of dating shouldn't feel like it's an emotional roller coaster. And timing has a lot to do with a lot of things. So if you're pushing, pushing, pushing to try and make it work, if you're pushing, pushing to try and make him to see you, if you're pushing, pushing to try to get a message or a response from him, then the guy probably just isn't ready for what you're looking for right now, or maybe never. It's more important that you stay in your neutral, beautiful, confident, encouraging position and find a man who can meet you there. So to help you with this, I have a fabulous free gift called five easy ways to get a man to commit and stay committed. And I share some pretty interesting tips in there and some of them are a little bit unexpected. So please check it out. The link to that free gift is right below in the description. And earlier, I did mention my program, Unlock His Heart. The link to that is also below. And in that program, I share exactly how to match a man, how to dance with him in such a way that allows a bond 
bond and a connection to build because emotional connections can only be built when we feel safe with someone. So I go into great detail about that in the program. So it's been a pleasure to have you here with me. Please subscribe, click that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic. Also, please check me out at Instagram at Nadine Piet. I'm more active there these days and I'd love to see you there. Also, please share this with a friend who you know tends to lean back too far or lean forwards too far and needs to know how to lean back into what I call the neutral place of confidence. It's been an honor to have you here with me. I look forward to seeing you at my next video.